My name is Amy Urbanowski and I grew up in China Spring, Texas, a little town northwest of Waco. I got my bachelor's degree in biology from Oklahoma Christian and I decided to go with the more ecological route. And I am currently working on my master's degree in environmental science at the Arthur Temple College of Forestry and Agriculture. My research project is out at Lake Nacogdoches. Uh, the lake was designed as um, means for flood prevention and recreation. Plans for the lake, they started in the 1960s as a bigger project for the Atoyak Bayou watershed, uh, but the permit to construct the dam wasn't approved until 1999. The permit that's required for the dam construction is called a Clean Water Act Section 404 permit, and this is required by the government for construction projects that are going to affect the waters of the United States, and this includes wetlands. So since this project would affect wetlands, there had to be some wetland compensation. So the College of Forestry at SFA worked with Nacogdoches County and TCEQ and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to develop a wetland monitoring plan for, for these created wetlands. Uh, so my job has been to continue monitoring that began in 2009. So the primary way that we have monitored these wetland developments is with shallow groundwater monitoring wells. These are pretty simple wells. They're 15 inches long with there, it's one, one inch PVC pipe with holes drilled in them uh, wrapped in filter cloth so that when they're in the ground water can flow in and out of it. So to install these wells uh, a hole is augered or dug 12 inches deep. The wells are put in and the space is filled in with sand so there's a little extra room sticking up so that you can go check the well for water. These wells were put on transects or lines that are perpendicular to the shoreline at one foot elevation starting at 349 which is a foot right above the shoreline going up to 356 which is a foot right below the county fee take line. So the wells were put in areas that were predicted to become wetlands so there's also some some coordination with landowners to be able to get access to these areas. So monitoring started in 2009 and has continued through 2014 where water levels are being checked every week throughout the growing season. The growing season starting in early, early February going to May or June. Uh, the purpose of getting this well data is to determine an elevation that the groundwater is consistently staying at throughout the growing season and we uh, will use this elevation to calculate a surface area of created wetlands in the area. Now we also did some vegetation monitoring in, in those same areas to see if um, one just establish a baseline for what vegetation is out there and to see if that vegetation is responding to the changing water levels. Uh, so far, uh, the vegetation analysis hasn't shown any kind of pattern with the elevation or the water levels, but that's because it hasn't been enough time for there to be significant change in vegetation. But that's expected to change over a longer period of time. But the groundwater monitoring is giving us a better picture of what's going on out there. Our data that we collected has shown that water has consistently stayed at a level of 352 feet in elevation throughout the growing season which is four feet above the shoreline. So with that elevation we were able to project that 188 acres uh, of land around the perimeter of the lake is going to become wetlands which meets the original permit requirement of 176 acres. So this information will eventually be used by the county to show that they have met their original mitigation or their original compensation requirement uh, so they can finish the chapter on this part of the Nacogdoches project.